Hello everyone, and welcome to Story of the Blues, my take. Hope you like the intro, let's see how long I can get away with it for. And today I'm just about ready to head off to our pre-season friendly away to Southport, one I've been looking forward to since it was announced. I've only been to Hague Lane, home of Southport once before, and that's when Oldham played them a pre-season friendly in 2006, a few days after I got back from the Man. It was a nil-nil draw, and it was bloody boring and shite, but... And the next day we played Files of Celtic where I had the nicest um, turkey butty ever. It's a friendly, it's by the seaside unfortunately. The weather doesn't look like it's going to be on our side with thunderstorms and rain forecasted on an open end terrace. And the police have said there'll be no alcohol served in the ground. On one note, we should be singing shit ground no beer, shit ground no beer. However, it's not the end of the world for me. I watch games in Qatar soap and sometimes I like the change. But... There'll be plenty of pubs around and I still think it'll be a decent, good little away day. So, without any trick, I'm going to head over there now. Should be a good following. Apparently we've sold a good number of tickets. Look out for ex-player Chris Renshaw playing for these today. I've not recognised any other names at the moment in the squad who may have played for us. If they are, feel free to let me know or point them out to us. Difference between last week and this week again, it's the second game. Maybe a bit more of an attacking instinct, maybe push for it. Don't forget, our record win was against Southport and it was a 11-0 win. It'd be nice if we could score that today, but I'd like to say just a few goals. Entertainment, get the team playing together. The quicker the team gel, the quicker the better we will progress. Also, it's been announced that our away game with Chesterfield is now on BT, sorry, TNT Sport, BT Sports rebranded, and it's an early kickoff. Bit of a disappointment, it was what I was really looking forward to and I've heard rumours of the allocation may be reduced which is bad because we can take good numbers to Chesterfield in the last couple of seasons we've had some good results there and we've packed out that away and we've made noise and we'll still make noise there, it doesn't matter if you give us 10 tickets, 10,000, 5,000 and we'll still travel and we will get behind the lads. So without further ado, I'm going to head to the tram stop, it's again by tram and train today and I'm looking forward to meeting a good few Lads, well, a few from London that are coming up for this as well. Um, it's a shame I can't stay over and it's a shame the weather's not the best at the moment. It's a game I'd like to really wear shorts and t-shirt for. Anyway, off we go. Obviously, we know Southport is all done his record win 11-0, but they've actually got a lot more history. So originally they were formed as a rugby club, Southport Wanderers, and then became Southport Central. But the Southport, as we know today, were formed in 1888. Joined the Football League in the 3rd Division North in 1921. In 1931, they became the first team from Division 3 North to reach the FA Cup 6th round, losing 9 1 to Everton. A season later, at Hague Lane, they secured a record crowd of 20,010, which saw them play Newcastle in the 4th round of the FA Cup. In 1958, they were founding members of the old 4th Division. They finished bottom but were successfully re elected. In 1966 67, they were promoted. In 1968-69, they achieved their highest ever finish within the Football League when they finished 8th in Division 3. Shortly after, they were relegated back to Division 3. They were Division 4 champions in 1972-73, but they dropped out of the Football League altogether in 1978 when they didn't get enough votes to be re-elected. In 1992-93, they were Northern Premier League champions. And in 1998, they reached Wembley, losing to Cheltenham Town 1-0 in the FA Trophy Final. 2002 03, they had a good FA Cup run where they beat Notts County and had a great start to the season. They were unbeaten in the first seven games but after a terrible run of two in 15 games. They ended up getting relegated back to Northern Premier League. In 2004 5, they were founding members and winners of the Conference North. In 2006, after a successful season in the Conference, they became full time but in 2008, relegated back to the Conference North and were part time again. In 2009 and 10, they were National League North champions. They picked Fleetwood on the last day of the season. Now, Liam Watson, the current manager, took them up then and also took them up previously. They stayed in the National League until 2017, where they were relegated back to National League North, which is where they were today. So they have got quite a fair bit of history. People forget that some of these teams in non-league do have history. They are ex-football league clubs, but with the days when there was no promotion relegation, it was all re-election and all of that was... Gentlemen's agreements, Rochdale for years of wider relegation, Ocean get up, didn't get promoted. Basically, a lot of historic teams 
never achieved getting back in. Barrow were one for years who never got back in gate, said or another. I'm on a train to Southbourne, it's full of older fans and with a few of us. How are you doing Simon? Alright Tom. Missed the football. Looking forward to it mate. My yeah. First game of the new season for me. So nice day out. Yeah. Let's hope the weather's nice. Dave, looking forward right? to it. What, sorry? Looking well, forward to today. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, looking yeah. forward to seeing the uh, new players. So, yeah. Should be a good one. Good, 3-0. I'll end up at the after party after the Southport away, pre season friendly, Con Alden. It's pissing it down, but well, who gives a shit? Football's back. Right, let's have a goal now. Fuck a lot. Half time I've seen more life in a morgue. No. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> God, now let's have a fucking go at this. Fancy last in 90 minutes and they're getting fucking in. <laughs> Full time, 1-1. One, one. Goals scored, but not the best friend we've seen. But hey, it's football, it's back. Well, what a day it was at um, Southport today. Um, cracking day out. Great to see so many faces. The rain wasn't as bad as it was forecasted. So, heaven's open. But luckily enough, most of the time we were inside the game itself. I walked in myself. It wasn't a classic. It wasn't any, it lacked entertainment, like flair. But it's a friendly watch. It's better. And ones were seen to start off with three at the back. And obviously switched it soon later. Thought Hobson played okay. Ragland didn't do too bad. The defence does look a bit... Lundstrom again was the standout man for me in midfield. Um, Green took his goal well, a little composed, cool when he did it. Obviously not all stupid to get sent off in a friendly. Could be banned from the start of the season, especially if it's violent conduct. What people are saying at the moment, great to see Ward get a run out. 
I'd like to inch Charlie, see him go with Reed and Willoughby up front. I just want to see a bit more of an attacking emphasis. Don't get wrong, we pushed forward. We did have plenty of the corners, but just a bit of that end product, obviously. I'm not going to panic, as some people have done. Take it game by game, but as each friendly goes on, I do expect us to improve. I looked at the starting lineup and wondered, is that the starting lineup he wants to put out against South End? Um, it's such a, I would like to say it's looking strongly so far, having said we've only played two games. Still, roll on Charlie on um, Tuesday. Thanks to Paul Nichols, who sent me a couple of photos from Southport of like the seafront that I put in, but never had, I got to Southport myself, but not actually quite on the seafront. But great day out. See you on Tuesday at Charlie. See you on the terraces. Come on, Oldham.